Hello and welcome back to another episode of Teaching Partner. Today we will be discussing a slight scientific topic in the field of education which is educational neuroscience. In recent years, educational neuroscience has gained popularity in academia as it provides key insights into how the brain process and retain information. In this video, we will be exploring what educational neuroscience is, its benefits and how it can be applied in the classroom. Firstly, let's start with what educational neuroscience is. Educational neuroscience is the study of the brain and its effect on learning and teaching. It combines neuroscience, psychology and education to understand how the brain processes, stores and retrieves information. This interdisciplinary approach enhances our understanding of how different teaching and learning methods can influence the brain's natural processes. Research in educational neuroscience has shown that there is a strong connection between the way we learn and the way our brains work. Teacher can use this knowledge to create nurturing and engaging learning environments where students can thrive. Now, let's move on to the benefits of educational neuroscience. One of the biggest benefits is how it helps students retain information better. This is because educational neuroscience focuses on how the brain processes information. Teacher can use this information to tailor their lesson to fit each student's individual learning style. This can lead to improved performance and a greater understanding of the material. Another benefit of educational neuroscience is that it helps teachers create a positive learning experience. Teacher can create a learning environment that is stimulating, engaging and attractive to learning. When students are in a positive learning environment, they are more likely to be motivated and engaged, which can lead to better learning outcomes. Lastly, educational neuroscience can help identify and address any learning difficulties that students may have. Now that we understand the benefits, let's discuss how educational neuroscience can be applied in the classroom. Number 1. Provide multiple way of engagement. Incorporate different types of learning activities to activate different areas of the brain including movement, sensory input and social engagement. Use visual, auditory and kinestic elements to help students understand concept in multiple ways and improve memory retention. Number 2. Teach to the student's level of cognitive development. Create activities and lessons that match the student's current cognitive stage and development level. Modify where necessary. Number 3. Use analogies and metaphors. Analogies and metaphors can help understand abstract concepts by linking them to concrete experiences and examples. Number 4. Use spaced repetition. Spaced repetition is the practice of review material at increasing intervals to increase the time between reviews for long term retention. Number 5. Encourage peer teaching. Teachers should encourage students to teach each other as this reinforces their own learning. Number 6. Building relationships. Create a warm and supportive classroom environment that encourages positive relationship to students so students feel safe and less stressed. Number 7. Mindfulness based techniques. Teachers should incorporate mindfulness based techniques to help students remain calm, reduce stress and self-regulate. Number 8. Encourage active learning. Encourage more active learning such as discussions, debates and problem solving activities to engage students is vocalizing their thinking as well as collaborative learning. Number 9. Provide immediate and specific feedback. Provide quick and specific feedback to students to correct misunderstandings and support long term memory retention. These strategies are based on research on how the brain learns and processes information and how it can help students learning and retention of the material. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is very useful for you. So thank you very much. If you have any question, query or you need any support for making a decision, don't hesitate to write an email to the teaching partner at gmail.com. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Goodbye.